Good morning and happy Monday, everyone. Today is Monday, April 20th, and here are your updates. As of Sunday, April 19th at 8 p.m., masks are now required to be worn by all employees and customers inside stores. Mark your calendars for today at 3 p.m. for your chance to receive a $5,000 grant from the U.S. Chamber Foundation. These $5,000 grants are for small businesses with 3 to 20 employees. Specific zip codes uh, may or may not be eligible, so jump on savesmallbusiness.com and see if your zip code is eligible and therefore if your small business is eligible for one of these $5,000 grants. On Saturday, April 18th, the much anticipated new website launched that processes unemployment benefits specifically for 1099 individuals and self-employed individuals. So if that applies to you and you need to uh, register for these benefits, this portal is now open. There were a couple of uh, bugs and slight issues at the beginning, so if you have problems, you are not alone. Uh, they're working on those as quickly as possible. But do please visit that website that is the specific portal for 1099 independent contractors and self-employed individuals. As I'm sure you've already heard, last week the Paycheck Protection Program as well as the Small Business Administration's Economic Injury Disaster Loan, Idle Loan, both of those programs at this point have run out of money. We waited as long as possible to create this video for you, hoping there would be good news over the weekend. We're continuing to monitor things. Um, it looks like a deal is close, so hopefully there will be more money. Um, in the meantime, if you're not sure where your loan stands, you're looking for a loan origination number. This is where you turned in your documents to the bank, the bank turned your documents into the government, the government said, okay, we're going to set your money aside for this loan. They tell the bank what that uh, loan number is, and the bank gives you that loan origination number. So if you're not sure where your loan stands, that's what you're looking for to know, okay, my money has been set aside. Maybe I still need to sign some documents, cross some T's, dot some I's, but that's the number that you're looking for. Additionally, there was, uh, if you're a 1099 contractor or a self-employed individual, there was some guidance that was put out uh, specifically for those types of paycheck protection loans. So check out that. We'll link to it in the Resource Center as well. And again, we'll keep you posted as soon as we hear more about this program. If your business is looking for ways to cut costs, but you're not quite ready to institute full layoffs, uh, you might want to look into the Pennsylvania's Work Share program. This is where you can reduce the number of hours for your employees. They are then eligible for reduced benefits through the state of Pennsylvania. So check out that program and see if maybe it's a good fit for your business. On Friday, April 24th at noon, there will be a free webinar. This is the fifth National Small Business Town Hall presented by Inc. Magazine and the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. This is a great informational tool. You're hearing uh, the latest out of Washington, D.C. as far as what's happening with policy, any changes to the specific regulations, and how that's impacting business owners just like you. So they give a brief update for roughly the first 20 minutes, and then they also answer questions uh, that business owners are having. So tune into that. If you can't make it, uh, all of the videos are posted to YouTube, so we'll link to those as well. I know we're all excited and anxious for reopening and getting back to life as normal or the new normal, whatever that may be. Um, but as we're looking towards that, last week Governor Tom Wolf released six standards that he would like the state of Pennsylvania to follow when we're considering reopening. Additionally, uh, of course, the local leaders here in Center County um, are talking about that as well. So there'll be guidelines for businesses, how to keep your employees safe, how to keep your customers safe, uh, so that we can do this in as safe and healthy and well thought out manner as possible but we just wanted to share with you um, some of those reopening considerations I know we're all thinking about it for more information on anything you've heard in this video and to learn more about what's going on here locally in Center County we invite you to visit the CBICC's COVID-19 Resource and Response Center For ongoing updates throughout the day and the week, please be sure to check out our social media, Facebook specifically. 
Um, and as always, CBICC staff and leadership are here to serve you. You can email us at info at cbicc.org or leave a voicemail 814-234-1829. Thank you, wash your hands and stay well.